so crazy right now because I had it up yesterday. This bathroom that I'm staying in is so tiny. I'm shocked I even got my camera up somewhere. One thing I love about Japan is that they give you PJs in every hotel. I think I've just been catching up on all the sleep I haven't been getting in the past two weeks in Japan. No regrets because I did enjoy Japan in the mornings. So today I plan on doing a little productive day in Japan. Plus it's Sunday so... Sunday is usually the days that I feel most productive in. And second, Tokyo is so busy on the weekends. So, so busy. And I have some new products that I've bought. I literally bought them without tax-free. Um, because when you buy tax-free things here, especially in Donkey, they will seal it because you can't open tax-free things before you enter the U.S. Also, my hotel has a massage chair, which is honestly so necessary for how much you walk in Japan. I don't know if my under eyes are just so bad here. Because I know I have bad under eyes. I always get called out on them. I'm actually going to do light makeup today. It's happening in Korea, but I completely ditched contour on day three of Japan. Your makeup adapts to the country that you're in so quickly. My little donkey bag. I don't think I'm going to do lashes today. I'll probably do that on another day. I bought these lashes. So cute. I'm going to buy so many manga style lashes before I leave. And then I got this glue. This is crazy here in Japan. I'm taking like seven of these home. This one's apparently the normal one, and then the blue one is the extra hold. When I was getting my hair done with my kimono, um, she used the blue one on me. I was looking at my things yesterday, and I bought this by accident, so I think I was just gonna give it to someone because I don't remember putting this in my bag. I did, however, buy two other mascaras because I don't really like volume with my lashes. I like length. What really got me was the super long, and then I also got this one from Kiss Me. If you guys remember, this is my favorite mascara ever. I got it in Korea. I think this line might be discontinued Continue. They only sell it at Olive Young. So I don't know if it's just a Korea exclusive, but I got the eyebrow product from the same line. I searched up what the best eyebrow pencil is here in Japan, and this is what they said. So. So cute, but they don't have the bag that I really want. So if anything, I'm gonna ship it home or wait until it comes in before I leave Tokyo. So they only have this color in stock, but I love it. I'm gonna do a quick little haul. Um, 
I got a lot of stuff, but I can't show you most of it, or not most of it. I can't show you some of it because I got it tax-free. First, I went to Polen. The bag that I wanted was sold out. I was so upset because I went in wanting this one bag. She told me they only had one color and it wasn't the color I wanted. Then I saw it in person and I was like, it's actually so cute. And then they didn't have it in store. She got my number and she's going to call me in case it comes in before I leave, but if anything, it's okay. I'll just order it. I got some earrings. They recently launched jewelry. Oh, I don't know what, what this is. And she gave me this gift. I don't know what this is. Oh! How cute! This is a Korean paper fan. I should carry this all around Tokyo. But here are the earrings. I love this packaging. I love the one packaging. I also don't know what I'm going to have for dinner tonight because I've done so much walking. It's 4 p.m. and I've walked over 10,000 steps. I don't plan on walking anymore. Here are the earrings. These are their best sellers apparently. Um, and I thought they were so freaking cute. Did not need to get more stuff, but I got so many surprise boxes. Why did I spend this much? Oh my god, I got so many. This is so bad. Look at that. Why did I get so many? I got seven sunny angels. I thought I was exaggerating when I was telling people I bought seven, but I actually bought seven. I was one of those people that were like, I don't really get the hype on sunny angels, but as soon as you get one, it just makes sense. They're just so cute. There's so many different types. And then you want to get the one you want. These are all restocks because when I went to Kitty Land last time, they didn't have any of these, especially the vegetable one. So I got two of those because I really want bok choy. So that's like the only Sunny Angel that I really, really want. The only reason why I got it was because here in Japan, they're 6 USD compared to the US where I think they're 9 and sometimes 11, which is crazy. I grew up with Calico Critters slash Sylvanian families. Um, so I guess we'll open- oh wait, did I buy two? I don't- I- I should have- I also got a Gojo, um, nano block, which I thought was really cute because I love Gojo. I love the surprise boxes, they're so cute and they come with like- they come with a character and like little items, which is adorable. I really don't want Gon just because I did the Gachapon and I already got Gon. I'll take anyone else. Oh, it's L'Oreal. How cute. I got this tax free. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to pack it with this little thing because I thought it was just tape, but this is because you can't open it before you leave. I really wanted these 550s, but I asked the guy if it was in stock anywhere else in Japan or Tokyo, and he told me no. There was only a 43, which is huge. So, also I already have 550s. I don't want to get another one. Guys, Uniqlo is insanely cheap here. You know the little crescent bag from Uniqlo? I searched up how much it is in the US. It's $20 in the US. It was 1,500 yen here. Depending on your conversion rate, that would be probably like $11. It doesn't get cold in Miami, but I've been dying for a cute mustard and forest green beanie and these are perfect. They fit so nicely in my head. And then I also got this cute little top. It's an extra small small, so I hope it fits. And then I went to Daiso, and I bought a ton of random stuff for $6 total. First, I got a smartphone lens. I've seen this everywhere. And on Amazon, it's usually like $10, and this was like 70 cents. And then, bro, like I bought Hello Kitty pasta. I keep seeing this ramen everywhere. It's like this little chicken ramen. I found Hello Kitty chopsticks. These are $7 in Don Quixote. I also wasn't going to get anything, and then I saw this. It's from Biore. And I also got this cute little... I said it's a bell, but this little keychain as a gift. I actually got off at Kitakamakura because I saw a TikTok of someone saying it's a really nice walk here. So peaceful and quiet and green here. Everyone keeps going up this way. I went to the Soba place that's really recommended here called Fukuya. I pull up to this restaurant 
can't find it at all. There's no signs in Japanese, nothing. But it says it opened, so this guy pulls up to me in a motorcycle. And then he asked me where I was looking to go, and then I showed him where I was trying to go. And then he said, oh, maybe it's closed. And then he said, are you hungry? Do you want to come eat with me? And I was like, no. No. And then he asked me if I wanted to get on his motorcycle and for him to take me to the temple. Um, no. No, thank you. Thanks, though. Very nice, but no. No. I'm also very scared of motorcycles. It's a temple in Ase Bamboo Forest. There's also a little shop inside where you can have matcha, and I'm so excited to do that. I was debating on actually going to the beach, but now I'm here and I want to touch the water. I was gonna walk to Enoshima, but it is so hot right now, it's 4 p.m. So I'm gonna take the train again. It's so much easier getting here after going to that other train stop because it's just two stops away And now I'm heading over towards the waters because I don't really know what there is to do here to get to Inoshima Island. I heard how people mentioned how walking this bridge feels like the entrance of the bathhouses in Spirited Away and it's so true like bridge has like it feels crazy I like love it I love the correlation
thing is, it's out of breath. Google Maps is great in Tokyo or Japan in general, but it will change all the time. It just told me to take this one and then it changed up to another one. And then it changed back to this one because I missed the other one. And now it's, um, it's like completely underground. I'm so out of breath. Whatever. All for stupid coffee. I'm to get here.